And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 meteorologist Matt Hoffman. Temperatures have cooled back down into the 50s. 56 degrees currently in Green Bay and Appleton. We are sitting currently at 59 and we have a south wind at 16 miles per hour. Still a little bit breezy across northeast Wisconsin and winds will stay pretty breezy through the overnight hours. Tracking a few sprinkles and showers. A lot of this not really reaching the ground, but you could see a few raindrops as this band of rain moves on through. This is out ahead of some warmer air that's going to be pushing on in for tomorrow. Likely seeing our first day with highs in the 70s this spring for your Sunday. Right now, temperatures cooler along the lakeshore in the 40s, 45 in Sister Bay. It's 62 in Shano, 61 in Clintonville, 62 in Wapaka, so some milder air still to the west. It's going to be a fairly mild night with lows only dropping down into the 50s and 40s along the lakeshore. Winds still very breezy and they'll be windy once again tomorrow, but that's what's going to help warm us up into the 70s. There is a storm system off to the west and this will increase rain chances over the next couple of days. Now tomorrow most of the day will be dry, but there is that threat, an isolated threat for a few showers and storms to pop up in the afternoon, but more so as we head into tomorrow night into Monday. That'll be the higher chances for more scattered showers and storms. Very warm air in place across the upper Midwest. Temperatures tomorrow will be running well above average. Our average high is 51 degrees. We're going to be a good 20 degrees or more above that with readings getting into the 70s, but cooler again for folks along the lakeshore. Here's a look at Skycast. We'll have those clouds overnight clearing out late and then tomorrow partly cloudy skies. As we go through the day, there will be the possibility for a few isolated showers and storms. The higher chances look to be north of Green Bay, but then as we head on into Monday, higher chances of seeing some rounds of rain and thunderstorms roll on through the area and then the system will finally move out of here on Tuesday and drop those temperatures. There is a threat, a marginal threat for severe weather for tomorrow. An isolated strong to severe storm is possible with anything that can get going, but exactly how much we'll see tomorrow will really depend. Most of the activity will be off to the north and west. That's where the higher rainfall totals will be from the storm system. Your forecast tonight down to 53, partly cloudy, breezy and mild. Then for tomorrow up to 73, warm and windy. Still going to have that isolated thunderstorm threat in the afternoon. Higher storm and rain chances as we head on into tomorrow night on into your Monday. Monday still looks pretty warm, but there's going to be a big temperature difference. Much colder to the north, but 70s for most of us. And then as we go beyond that, temperatures do come back down to reality on Tuesday. And then after that, it looks pretty nice with readings either right around 60 or above. Uh, the I'll week. totally take the 70, even though it's... A little rain it's, didn't hurt anybody, right? It's not too bad. <laughs> and also want to welcome you to yes. the weekend crew, Regina. <laughs> Thanks, Matt, yep. so much. All right. Well,